The plan that most would say was sparked by the September triple homicide in Harmon that involved two Chukis gangs. According to members of the special committee tasked with putting together ideas, though, the plans have been in motion for several months prior to the fatal incident. FSM Association of Guam and special committee member Koisumi Rudolph. What we need to do now is to work on a budget and some realistic outcome that we like to see happens. We are very optimistic that uh, if we are able to work together, we should be able to address uh, some of the problems that we have. And eventually, the bottom line in all of that we are attempting to do is that there will be less and less dependency of our people on the public assistance. Public assistance is what Foreign Service Officer Robson Romolo says is a key discussion in the plan, as the goal is to try to get more FSM citizens to stray away from using government aid. Under our compact, uh, with the U.S. You can't be deported if you live on this public assistance for life or for a long period of time. It is deportable. The draft plan also highlights parenting and how FSM parents need better education on the laws of Guam as it relates to domestic violence and rehabilitation programs for those who spent time in jail. Also noted is the need to address social issues in prostitution, suicide and bullying as well as the use of drugs and alcohol by adults and teens. Additionally, the proposed plan hopes to provide better awareness on educating new FSM immigrants. Until the association approves and implements these plans, Rudolph says. I think for the intern, there still can be something that can be done for, the, for us to maybe help our people working more closely with the police or the mayors um, in the village. While the FSM Councilor continues to push that FSM citizens should only be on the territory for three reasons, education, employment, or medical care, the special committee will also be hosting separate meetings for the FSM citizens on Guam to get their input on the action plan. FSM Council General Robert Ruscio says recent town meetings with the FSM president were well attended, but admits they need to branch out to those in the FSM community who are not getting the message about Guam's laws. That's one reason why we want to have this pocket meeting so we can reach out to everybody.